Here we go. Now, uh, uh, please bear with me. Uh, uh, this is Africa. Actually, it's not too bad. Uh, <laughs> and uh, now, I'm, what I'm going to draw very quickly is I say, you've seen all this. Uh, everybody here is taking a geography course and probably any other course is, at some point you see this. But, but you remember what the world looked like about 150 million years ago, not terribly long ago in geologic time. Uh, South America was. was uh, obviously, there is uh, Cesar Chavez, must be uh, uh, here. We go here's South America, and uh, here's North America. And um, uh, you remember how uh, India sat here like this, and, and Australia uh, like this, and then Antarctica positioned approximately like this. This is Pangaea, the southern end of Pangaea, which we call uh, Gondwana. Well, now you might say. Incidentally, just a brief, a, a geographer thought this up. A uh, fellow by the name of Alfred Wegener, about a century ago, looked at the, at the, at the, at the globe and said, my goodness, uh, look at the opposite size of the Atlantic. This can't be an accident. There has to be a reason why these, this is almost a jigsaw puzzle. You take away the Nigeria Delta, the Niger Delta, and a few other chunks of land, and it fits almost like a puzzle. And uh, he went on from there to develop the hypothesis of continental drift, and, out of it, and proposed that the continents were once, I hope you can see this reasonably well from where you are, but the continents were once united like this, and from there, geologists took up the refrain, devised the, uh, the theory of plate tectonics, and now we know that indeed, not a very long time ago, as planets go, the continents were connected like this, and ever since they've been moving out. And, and one reason the way the world looks like this well, you, you know, you can, uh, if I ask you a very simple trivia question that uh, you might get on one of those, those TV shows, what's the main mountain range in, the, uh, in North America? You'd say the Rockies or the California Coast Ranges. If I said to you South America, you'd say the Andes. If I said to you Europe, you'd say the, the Alps. If I say Asia, you'd say the Himalayas. If I say Australia, you might have a little trouble, but you'd probably come up with it, the Blue Ridge or the... the uh, great dividing range, but if I said to you Africa, you wouldn't come up with one. And the reason for that is that the continents have moved away as India wedged into Asia, it created the Himalayas, as Australia moved into the Pacific, it wedged, created this range that sits on the eastern end of the, of the continent, when South America moved this way, the Alps, <laughs> the, Alps the Andes, uh, wedged up and the California coast ranges are forming now. That's going to be a bigger mountain range in the Rockies because North America is pushing its way into the Pacific. And if you don't believe me, this room, this very room we're sitting in here, will be one inch approximately from where it is today one year from now. It'll be about a foot away ten years from now. Uh, three yards uh, at the end of, the, uh, of a century from now, and it, you start dealing in thousands and millions of years, and you can see you're dealing quickly with thousands of miles. And so the North Atlantic, in, the, in a very short time really, has opened up, and if you don't believe it, take a look at the increasing cost of cruise line fares. Every time <laughs> uh, it costs more to sail from, from, from <laughs> to, uh, to Europe. But 